I've got Charmander next to me, everyone, and he's on fire tonight. He's got his little tail flame flipping around. I wish I could show you, but my camera's only on my paper. Let's do this! I'm excited, man. I've been getting tons of Pokemon requests. Uh, and Charmander's been a very popular one. So let's get started. I'm, I'm looking at a reference for this one, and I love the way the reference photo looks. That I'm basically going to do it, ex you know, exactly like that. And it's just because I like the way it looks. Uh, so I'll start with that. And I'm going to make it fairly sketchy, a little bit sketchier than normal works. Because every once in a while I change my flow up, I change my mood, the way I draw. So let's get started. So for the head shape, I'm going to lightly get all my sketchy stuff in first. Then I'll go back with the pencil. So I'm using a B lead, which is soft, yet it makes a pretty dark line. So the head shape, you just want to make, for now, and we'll go back, really simple oval, sh not an oval, but almost an egg shape. Think of it as an egg standing up. So you, this is a great way. I love drawing using shapes and simple things, because that's how professionals do it, a lot of professionals. Because you get a generalization of your whole character, and that way you can get the body in and all that and keep it looking fluid because you want to keep it looking fluid you want to make it interesting then once you got that the body the body is basically a little longer than half so imagine half that it's a little longer so I'm just marking here and all I'm doing is making light sketch marks and then the back so it's got almost almost like a pear shape you can see it's like a pear shape and here's a great thing, this is, I'm going to say, because this is very helpful. You know, I kind of divide drawing, well not into two ways, but when you draw by eye, there's two different ways I like to approach it. And this, this can be very helpful for people learning to draw. Number one, there's, I guess you could call it the true view or the exact way. That's when, I'm look, like right now I'm looking at Charmander on, on a reference picture, but... The, tr the way that you would copy it exactly is you're looking at every line, you're going very slowly. You know, that's the way where you're taking it all in and you're putting it down. The other way, which is another way to draw when you're looking at a reference, is basically don't worry about getting it exactly the same. Just capture a likeness. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm just keeping it fluid. I'm not worrying about exactly where each leg is. I'm just keeping it fluid. So I, ho I hope that makes sense. Sorry if I'm going on these crazy rant things but uh so now you got the pear shape a leg basically comes up and under and you got the foot shape and the foot really is just almost a little rectangle you can see it just looks like that for the foot and then for the other one you have it coming in front of it and it comes downward and you can see how amazing it is to lightly sketch you can see just how how fluid this drawing is looking just by sketching the shapes in first. And same here, I'm not worried about the spike toes yet. But then for the arms, the arms get a little bit skinnier towards the ends. So like right here. And you can see, and we're not going to worry about the fingers. I'm just going to put a little reference for the fingers. Nothing fancy. I'll go back. But see, now you get the basic shape. And you know anybody, you know part of the you can draw thing is that anybody can draw uh, the more they learn. I really do feel like it. And you know anybody can draw a square or a rectangle or a triangle. So the idea is you know if you can draw basic shapes and connect it all together and think, well you have to know all the elements too. But you know the, the point is that you can at least improve. You may not be able to draw every single complex thing there is but you can definitely improve then for the tail I'm making a little this little like shape here just it's 
And then the flames would be coming up. I just did a real rough flame. Oh, I love drawing flames. That got me intense. Okay, so let's finish up here with the, the head. There's a little cheek for the jaw, so you want to just make that, keep that in mind. Then here, the eyes. There's like an eye here. Basically, the eyes are halfway. So you want to put one eye here. And sketch. And look at the eye, the bottom of the eyes, if you notice, it's like a straight line going down. And then two little nostrils. And basically, a big mouth. And it's open. We'll make it open a little. And a teeth there and a teeth there. And I'll use my darker pencil to go over everything. But you can see that. So let's finish up uh, doing the major stuff. Oh yeah, for the belly, just lightly sketch. I really like the way this is looking. It's like a cute, it's almost a cute kind of chubby looking Charmander. He's, he's got this cool look to him. So I'm going to go back, darken the eyes. Draw a circle, one shape, very dark, and another. And same on this side, you want this big reflection. I hope that kind of makes sense what I was saying before. I don't, I don't know if I described myself correctly. Messed up. I'm just going over the outline with right? this nice mechanical pencil. You can see like the mouth, the teeth here. It's just coming along nice. Now it's coming along, it looks really cool. And of course I did that, then just take a little race for the tongue. Then just darkening that line, you have a tongue here. I just switched to my B pencil. I feel a lot better flowing with it today. Yeah, oh my gosh, this pencil's a lot better for some reason today. You got the head. Eyes. That's the first part. Now we got the face drawn in. But for the rest of the body, you just want to never make sure you're not getting the and see how easy it is once you get the rough sketch in you know you can start so for the fingers you just want to make them I believe that it's dirt three but you see how i'm doing just real simple shapes real simple and then on this side same thing this arm is going to be in front and for this one notice how the thumb this one is inside the hand they just they like that, little pointed shapes. Then for the stomach. Big stomach. This looks awesome. This is so cute, man. Then put the the foot here. Just finish up with these nice lines. And for the toes, three claws at the end, you just want to put a claw, another one. You just draw it like that. And the foot goes here. Then for the other one, same thing. Just a claw, another one, and then one in the back. So there's the little feet you have. Then let's finish up with the tail. Remember, put the line here. And another great tip is uh, usually when you're doing the outer body, it's better to make thicker lines. It just gives it more of a of depth. Like see how the back, how much thicker that line is compared to the arm. It's just a really cool artistic thing you can do. So for the little tail, it comes up and the little flame point.
and the tail just curves all the way down like that. And pretty much, you know, you got a Charmander. And you can add more if you want. We'll do the flame last. Just come in and race race all the guidelines you made. That way it's not looking messy. Just finish with these guidelines. I'm gonna make this little dark right here. I'm gonna erase too. It's too dark in this area. And don't don't be afraid of messing up, cause you know you always have the eraser. That's that's something I need to work on too, cause I always get afraid I'm gonna make a line or mess it up. So yeah, but this is a great way to draw doing this shape thing and getting the sketchy form out first. So finish up here. I got this special brush. So for the flame, I'm just going to make it like stylized. For flames, the best thing to do is never uh, always keep your pencil moving is really the best I can say. And that's just the way I like to draw flames. And it's so cool doing it for his tail. It looks awesome. So I'm just yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Nothing fancy. Then you can do a Another flame inside. There's so many ways to draw flames. Now look up a flame reference with this. Oh man, this looks sweet. So last but not least, you want to just shade in. Go back and shade in all the body except the tummy and the white under the tail. He looks so happy, man. Eh? I'm going to put a little eyebrow, a little crease for the eye, where the eye sits in the face. And you can see how when I'm shading, I'm keeping it in one direction, the lines. I'm not contradicting the lines and making them crisscross. I mean, there's so many ways you can shade, but... Then I'll come in with that blending stone tool and